Another way you can tell something about our church is see that every month we give away the entire uh, plate collection, the collection that we're about to take, uh, that non-pledged funds, the cash or checks that are put in the plate, go to an organization that we're both connected to and that expresses our values in the community. And today we have uh, Judy Rory, who's here from North Dallas Shared Ministries, the executive director. She's full-time volunteer. If you write a check, please write it to First Unitarian Church with the memo line and DSM. There's also, if you don't have a check or you don't carry checks and you want to give electronically, there's a, a way to do that in Channing Hall on the table for First Sunday. I just want to let you know that a generous First U Unitarian family has made a triple challenge grant that for every dollar you give, uh, they will make three dollars. They will turn it into three dollars, correct? So this is a, a good opportunity to make a difference in North Dallas Shared Ministries. Come on up, Judy, and talk to us about North Dallas Shared Ministries. Okay, thank you. Well, thank you so much for inviting me back. It's wonderful to be here. On Thursday, 10 of the 48 households requesting emergency aid center help were mentally ill individuals residing for 90 days in housing provided by MetroCare. All presented proper referrals for food and clothing. Perhaps most touching were the three individuals who asked that a blanket or bed linens be added to the closed closet voucher. On Wednesday, 29 single without children likable Ebony requested food and rent help. Netting $1,300 a month, she lost some work due to illness, took out a payday loan that turned out to be a nightmare, and knew her next pay payroll de deposit would have $180 deducted for overdrafts. The only way to really help Ebony was for her to pay off the loan with an interest rate of perhaps 700%, and for NDSM to pay the entire $445 rent for the apartment where she had been a model tenant for three years. On Friday, we confirmed a direct deposit of $745, payoff of the $400 loan, a bank deduction of $187, and a $158 bank balance for the expenses for the next two weeks. We paid the rent and an $86 utility bill and held out the offer of bus tokens for her to get to work and additional food if needed during the next two weeks. Wanda, 52, manages a small low rent district apartment complex. For this, her $600 a month rent is waived and she gets $69 on the 15th and last day of the month. With the first $69, she pays for the cell phone her job requires. The second check allows her to buy the cleaning supplies that her job also requires. Her disabled boyfriend receives $969 a month SSDI. They receive the requested food and closed closet voucher. Her boyfriend told Sheena and her two young children to leave. She ended up in a shelter and lost everything. She recently moved into a subsidized $198 a month apartment where she and the children sleep on the floor. Between her sporadic child support and a waitress job of two months, her income may be $600 a month. Last Friday, she requested furniture only. Because of her limited income, the short duration in her apartment and on her job, and our fear that she would not be able to maintain the apartment, we made the granting of her request contingent upon her paying her November rent. On Thursday, we confirmed payment and ordered two twin beds, a full bed, a dining table, and three chairs along with delivery from the Dallas Furniture Bank at a cost to NDSM of about $200. These persons are representative of the 182 households that asked for emergency aid center help last, this past week. And these households do not include the 400 seniors who participate in our weekly Friday food basket program, or our 140 day and 60 evening ESL students, 
or the 66 patients who were treated in the dental clinic, or the approximately 100 patients seen in the medical clinic, or the few who came for tax help. North Dallas Shared Ministries, a busy, complex, amazing extension of First Unitarian Church, a place where many First Church members find challenge and reward as they actualize their faith. I hope you will continue to find NDSM worthy of your strong support, both financially and as volunteers, and I thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, Judy, and for all your work, and the people in the front row here who do so much for North Dallas Shared Ministries, and to all of you today who can make a difference. We have been greatly blessed, so let us give generously so that the work of North Dallas Shared Ministries will be blessed by us. The offering will be given and received.